Hello everyone, it's Anne here and I've got a story for you called Possum Magic. We looked at some possums in class, didn't we, just before the holidays. It's about a grandma who makes the little possum go. She makes him go poof and he disappears. Let's have a look at this fun story. Possum Magic. Here he is up in the tree. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush, that's the little baby, and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink, but the best magic of all was oh, the magic that made Hush invisible. Grandma is going to make him go. Look, here he is. Oh, can you see his tail's gone? His body and his tail is gone. All of him is gone. What adventures Hush had, because she couldn't be seen, she could be squished by koalas. Uh oh, oh no, <laughs> that's bad, getting squashed, oh dear. Oh, she could slide down the backs of kangaroos. Uh oh, because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes, which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place, keeping her safe. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Can you bring me back, Grandma? Of course I can, yes, said Grandma. And she began to look through her magic books. She looked into this book, she looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat. Magic for tall magic for small but the magic she was looking for was not there at all oh dear grandma poss looked miserable that's a long word it means sad don't worry grandma said hush i don't mind but in her heart of hearts she did oh all night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, oh, it's something to do with food. People food, not possum food. But I can't remember what. Hmm, have to try and find it. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush seen. Oh, they're going to go and look to see what they can use to make Hush come back. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, Mornay and Minties in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Oh dear, Hush remained invisible. Hmm, it did not work. He did not make him come back. Hush remained invisible. Don't lose heart, said Grandma. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. It was there in the far north of Australia that they found a Vegemite sandwich. Gonna eat a sandwich for lunch. Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, he shouted. For there it was, a brand new tail. There he is, he's got his tail back, hasn't he? Grandma's made his tail come back. Later on the beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova. Oh, Hush's legs came and so did her body. Wow! You look wonderful, you precious possum said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania, and over the sea they went. In their boat. It's an umbrella. It's an upside down umbrella. That's a bit funny, isn't it? 
in Hobart late one night in the kitchen of the casino, they saw a lamington, oh, it's a special cake, on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled, took little bites. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. Oh, she had to do some good. I'm looking for wait. Where is it? Waiting. It worked. It worked, she cried. And she was right. Hush. Uh, she hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate, the lamington plate, the lamington plate. Here we go round the lamington plate early on a morning. So excited to have Hush back. From that time on, Hush was visible. But once a year on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich for lunch. Ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and half a lamington just to make sure that hush stayed visible forever and she did that cover of my story means my story is finished it was a story called possum magic <laughs>